Battle control initialized. Hello there, comrades and cannon fodder. It's Devoid here. I've got a 1v1 multiplayer game, and I've never used this map before. It's called Woodlands. And I noticed this map during my um, practice games last night. All I was playing, I had a few skirmish games and stuff, try out a few different builds. And I thought I'd try this map. Now, we're both using Russia for this game. And um, I'm certainly going for my standard build order and my standard faction because of the opponent I'm facing. I know, I know, I know of this opponent, so I'm not going to um, mess around. Basically, I thought I'd try and play properly, see how um, how how well uh, my practice has paid off. Because I've been playing some good players and stuff, and I thought this is um, this player who's quite good is a good way to judge how I've improved. Now I've sent these rifles, my first three rifles I build, I thought I'd go for this oil derrick, now it's the right choice, but will they reach it? And my player has just said that he doesn't know this map either. Um, and there, this rifleman is going off to this side, but I noticed during my practice games, this is the right side to be, because the engineer is going to go here, more than likely, and then travel between them. Now my opponent has got him going a good route, he's not vulnerable, I sent him straight down. My guy, uh, he's, he's going straight to it, look. But my opponent protected him in a, you know, far, far better than I just did. And he's got a dog. I detonated the barrels in case the engineer was there. If I'd have waited a moment... Oh, that was close. That was close. It would have got him. Right, now what's... Look at that. He's done well to protect that that guy very well now if i'd have just waited a moment i could have blown him sky high that would have been lovely but we're both capturing our second oil derrick now it looks like we're both at the same progress for capture and i've got this guy and i thought right i'm going to put him over here in case the engineers move back to safety somewhere but um I didn't see anything, and then I'm use thinking I'm using them as a scout rifle. Now I'm moving forward with my the extra troops I'm training, but I'm not attacking. I'm not attacking this because um, it, he's going to have a far better view range, and he's closer to his um, production. Look, he's closer to his barracks. But uh, I've this guy's made it through, and he's shown me a power plant. Now when he's made it through, I may as well. When I notice, I'll send him back, I'm assuming. I'm sure I remember doing that. I didn't order a shift command for him to go one way and back another, but um, I think I do send him on another to do the same thing again. But who's that? It's my opponent's engineer, and I'm just sending my guards out into position. Look, there you go. These guys are going to this side. Now, that might not be close enough. If that engineer moves right down the side of the map, it's, uh, he might escape. No, he, he moved him off to the edge a little bit. I wonder what's going to happen there. There's my engineer. He's moving forward now. I've got my scout vehicle. Initial army sizes put me very slightly ahead. And my opponent's got an APC, but he's left his troops, look. And I've found the enemies. Luckily, he turned and ran because the APC would have been killed by another salvo. So I'm pursuing them a little bit, and then I've got my engineer here. Now my opponent's scouting my base. And I'm not um, attacking anymore because my APC is at very low health. But look, he's still guarding the, the oil derrick. Very nice, because I could have sent that engineer without checking but in this case I did check and I noticed he's got no rockets there so they're backing off I've got that but now I'm producing rockets at my base because his APC is going to block my um, my war factory yeah nice shot from that guy right I'm capturing so I've got um, I've got one, two, three oil derricks now. My opponent's got one, and he's got his uh, production queue here. So his rocket troops, sadly, um, it looks like he's built... Yeah, he, uh, hopefully... He's, he's Well, he's just realised. Hopefully he didn't lose too many. But he's now moving out with his MCV, and I thought, <clears throat> why not take the other oil derrick 
and I'm checking it's clear with my APC and then using these guys for a little eco raid. Now I'm taking a chance because them, these guys have spotted them because uh, this APC is so low in health it'll be lost quickly so I'm not you know expecting much but his ore trucks oh look at that I didn't even notice that that's bad luck mate unlucky that was his home base MCV and there's an ore truck they are trying to crush me but that was all oh, right that was harsh I didn't see that in game And I'm still irritating his ore trucks, look. I haven't got any rocket troops left, so they're no threat anymore. But I could have done with scattering them. But I've captured this oil derrick as well. I'm getting the engineer out of there. Plus, I've saved the APC. And we're both at 9,000 army value, although I'm a few hundred ahead. So... Yeah, my opponent's got one less ore truck. I took out that MCV, though. His home base MCV was destroyed. Now I'm moving out here, and my opponent's got no cash. Um, yeah, he's attacking the oil derrick now. So he's not making an engineer lot. He's got an engineer, but he's not using that to recapture. Now, here we go. We've got a bit more of an engagement, but I haven't got my tanks up front. But a tank... That tank's alone against my troops, so that was a, a disadvantage. But he's right to fall back. He knows what he's doing, look. He's moving back here, and then that just changes the situation. And he's finally destroyed the oil, Derek. I've expanded up to this corner, and I'm moving in. And I can see that he hasn't got many tanks, and I've repaired the APC, although it's nearly dead now. Uh, but I'm moving the tanks in front of my troops. And um, I know I could probably win that engagement, but it's pushing it too much, and now it's turned against me. He's got base defences both sides. Oh dear, that's a shame the APC got an attack move, because it just killed, caused it to die. And there you go, I know I have to regroup. My opponent's got 10,000 army value, I've got 8.5. Now he's at 8.5. I'd soon turn them guys back. <laughs> Very nice. You see, the thing is, when you attack and win an engagement... And I'm making a mistake, a mistake right now that's just begun now. I'll point it out in a minute. But the mistake, a lot of times, a game turns against you because you can be winning an engagement and the enemy fall back and you pursue them. And then they get in a good formation when your forces are stretched out chasing them that they can kill a few piecemeal as you arrive and it turns the situation around. So be wary of back and forth attacks. Don't just launch automatic, uh, like an automatically like counter-attack. Don't do that unless it's in another location and, you, I'm, ref and I'm referring to the tactic called automatic counter-attack. In which case that is always done, uh, best done when you're attacked. But uh, in the case of engagements here, where you're actually looking at single groups of units, don't attack and fall back and when you're winning um, and turn the engagement around, don't automatically attack again because it might just turn it against you straight away. And I realised this was here because my base defence is warning me, thankfully. <clears throat> now he's retreating with that and I thought of the engineer straight away. But now he's retreating with that, there's nothing I can do. But I've turned these guys back. Thankfully, he doesn't want any. He doesn't want that. He thinks it's too much. So, and I'm thinking, whoops. And here I know I've got to get back straight away because I see how many troops he's got. So I've got to get back. And I've got 10,000 army value. My opponent's got 12,000. And the mistake I've made is even worse because these ore trucks at home... Uh, have just been idle. Now, they have still got some ore, so they have been mining a bit, but I should have been mining this properly. <clears throat> and the enemy engineer is still in place. And look, there's an attack from my opponent, but just attacking because you were winning at one point isn't always a good idea. Now, he's got enough forces, so I was in trouble here. But it's still doing damage to him. As soon as he loses that tank, it's over for him. So look, he's falling back, and that's the right choice. That's exactly what I mean. You need to judge the right point to when to attack and when not to. Now he's got a nice army here. He's at 15,000. I'm at 11. And this uh, ore truck is about to get destroyed. And now I've got my economy recovered, but it's going to take some time to build up money again. My opponent's not much better, no better off, really. But my economy will recover immediately.
Now I'm worried I've placed this war factory too far forward and I was worried I was going to lose it and I thought I've got to attack. There's absolutely no choice he's going to win because he's attacking here, look, and I knew this was coming because I know he's a good player so he's not going to attack here, is he? He's going to go and attack this way. I knew it, which was why I was ready and then I knew he was going to probably go this way which is why I immediately changed my primary production here. So I've got forces there, look, for, when, for if he arrives. And they're there. Uh, they're very good at sneaking past me at that angle. He's pressing them right against the side of the map. I'm going to start doing that myself. My flank attacks, and there you go. I've hit his base, and he's got nothing to stop me. And I had a, an inkling that that was the case. So let's just... Here you go, see. I thought I'd checked, and they've snuck straight past me. That is very nicely done, and I'm going to start doing that myself. So flank attacks, press them right up against the side of the, um, of the map. And there you go, I'm just chewing through his home base, there's very little he can do. We're at 19,000 army value each, and I've hit this forward expansion, it's too vulnerable. And I'm behind his construction yard, that's dead. Now I'm building thieves. Look, rallying to the refinery. Thieves, as soon as it's an option, immediately, there you go, look, thieves. And he's hit me with a raid here, where he's destroyed my first main expansion. And his engineer is moving away. And it looks like he's ordered to capture my war factory, and his forces have snuck around here, but he hasn't done anything with them yet. Now, I've got an infiltration. That looked like about quite a bit. Yeah, it was probably about four grand summits. Now it's gone, he's sold it. But I've got a tank protecting my forces here, so I'm bringing back the MCV, but he's got a capture. That's very nice. And this is what I'm paying attention to. I didn't see the flashing, and I don't even think I'm looking now. That was a shift command. I'm probably here. And I can, you know, still win that engagement. I'm putting the tank there to attack the power plant and that tank to screen my men. And he's captured my war factory, but he can't win when I've got the view range of these structures and this force is arriving. I'm in low power, but this never fell. I was very lucky. I got breathing space there. And there's his engineer. Bought it. Small force to clear up. And he's actually building... He's got that look, but I'm destroying that, so he doesn't want to build there. He's, he's going to have to build there. <laughs> but uh, when you get an engineer and try and capture back, they usually sell it. So if you have to try and capture something back, leave it a moment and then distract him and then build an engineer from a barracks that's close like that and capture it back quickly. Now I'm going for a big attack because I think I've got to to finish him. I'm at 21,000 army value. He's at 11. So he's, gonna, he's attacking here, but it's puny. It's a puny attack, and here we go, this is the best he's got. And I knew I had to get my tanks up front, and my formation is A grade. Look at that. He came at me at an angle like that, at a right angle, and it was, didn't, it was bad. Look at it, it's just, there you go. He's called it, GG. So that was the end, that was a quite a brutal game, and forgetting to transfer my ore trucks here nearly lost me the game. It very, very nearly lost me the game, but I quickly recovered. Thankfully, I had an, econ um, an economy, like a, I had the um, foundation in place, the, the assets necessary, and then I built this quickly, so it meant that I could just quite start mining immediately. Um, and my opponent did get some nice attacks in my base, but that attack where I hit them here, where things were desperate and I sent an attack up the middle of the map, that was the decisive attack on my end, and the fact that I managed to hold on to this. You know, if I hadn't, I nearly retreated with the construction yard anyway. But I'm glad I didn't because one or two base defences proved crucial and plus production up there is good. You know, let me see if I recovered power before. I, yeah, I did. But we'll just have a look at the graphs and charts and stats. There's the army graph. Look at that. You know, up, down, up, up. My opponent, you know, he's tracking with me and had a larger army there. That was probably when I started to run, uh, run out of money. But there you go, there's the army graph. Um, and there's the earnings graph. Why have my earnings dropped off so rapidly at the end? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe, look, I'm still mining. Oh yeah, an, an auto, oh, that's right, an eco raid here destroyed some ore trucks. So that's why my um, my earnings have dropped my income. That That's perfectly uh, simple. That's It's obvious that was what it was because he launched a nice little eco raid from there. And it just, that's when his engineer moved round to my war factory. I think that's when it was. And it's fairly near the end of the game, obviously. 
Um, right, there's the earnings graph anyway. My finishing army, I've got four heavy tanks, 21 rocket soldiers, and that looks like about 80 rifles, I think. Because I stopped building them at 3 to 1 and started back at 5 to 1, then 5 to 2. So five rifles, one rocket, and then five rifles, two rockets. Five rifles, one rocket five rifles two rockets etc so that means i'm not building rocket soldiers f at five in a row while the enemy rifles are just shooting them or something i don't like to build loads of rockets troops in a row some you know i just um, i'm not keen on it not keen on that i'd rather build them one at a time or two at a time and it also because of my money situation i changed back to five to one and five to two because it's a lot e more easy on your your um, bank account on your income doesn't three rifles to one rocket drains your income rapidly once you've got seven barracks how many have i actually got one two three four five six seven eight one for spare but here's the combat chart i killed 232 my opponent killed 192 i've got an 18,900 army value so that's decent that's it's just standard units uh, i lost eight structures my opponent lost 12 um, destroyed 55,000 of my opponent's assets, and my opponent destroyed 51,000 of mine. It was a close game. It was very close. He did as much damage as I did to him, you know? It was a very close game. But I've got support powers in effect because I built an airfield, so my paratroops and spy plane are ticking down. Um, production, base defences... Heavy tank and rifle troops, of course. Now, my economy tab, I earned 98,000, my opponent earned 90. So it's close in a lot of ways, a very close game. But I've only got three ore trucks left. So this eco raid here did hit me hard. That's why my, uh, on the economy uh, graph, that's why it's such a large, uh, solid dip. Um, a good angle, because uh, that eco raid, it's left me with three ore trucks. Um, and I have two oil derricks still. So that was good. Um, but there you go, there's the economy. I've still got seven grand cash. Those infiltrations, they look like a decent amount. Um, my opponent's still got a decent bit of cash left as well. Here's the basic tab. 28 actions per minute from me, 30 actions per minute from my opponent. Um, there you go, there's all the basics and stuff. But um, that that should be okay for now. I was thinking about adding a second replay to this post. Um, I'm going to actually. I may as well. Um, so Battle I'll get rid of that one. Terminated. Just play this Battle one. Control initialized. And this is a 1v1 multiplayer game on Timian Map, the 2022 version. And um, let's have a look for this game. I'm using Russia and my opponent's using Russia as well. So that's another one. It's been a few games. Russia against Russia, that I in my post recently, a few of them. Um, let's have a look. I'm assuming, yeah, I'm getting my engineer first, although sometimes I do send rifles first, whereas my opponent sending his secure his oil, Derek. My first rifles are to hunt for the enemy's engineer, usually. And on Timian, it's um, it's an interesting map because there's a few angles you can actually attack the engineer from. You don't just have to wait here for it. You can move this way or this way. You've just uh, and he hasn't gone for this one first, so that was actually confusing. Um, he's not going in the right direction. There, that's more like it, but he's too late. This guy is going to be caught out. It's a shame I didn't attack prop. Yeah, he's got him. Very nice. Very sneaky, very nice. And there's a second engineer there. He actually was on his way, but he's going back, which is wise. Now, I've moved him out of the way, so I can maybe be of nuisance later. And he did perfectly well protecting that engineer. It's just I caught him. When you send your rifles to clear out the enemy in the direction you think they are... They might actually be coming from the other direction. You have to watch it. Riflemen can come from any direction and any amount. Your opponent's got 20 at their disposal, usually at the start. Now, there's a grenadier and a rocket soldier on the way. What on earth could you be thinking for those? Unless they're to attack a power plant and uh, an ore truck. But why not? And if there's a use for them, we'll see. And he's got the engineer, he's captured the first oil derrick, 
and he's escorting it properly, can my rifleman avoid the enemy? He's escaped, but another rifleman doing the same as what he did in the first place would work. Looks like he's waiting for a close escort. No, there's two engineers, actually. I should send him back up now. That would be nice. This engineer's off on a long journey. Yeah, he's capturing his second oil derrick now. This guy, what's he doing? Yeah, I was going in the right direction, but I can't reach him like that. Maybe if I'd have got closer, like put him here, I'd have probably only got a shot or two off. Oh, look at that. Catch him running away. Slightly too slow. And look, the engineer's capturing over here while I'm distracted. And that's what these guys are for. And I messed that up. Uh, but I'm capturing this one. And I've got my APC protecting it. My opponent's only got two ore trucks. And he's captured it. I did kill him, but I was too late. He's taken that. So I've taken this one, and I'm going to go and retake that, I'm guessing. Yeah. There's the rocket soldier and the grenadier. Move commanding the way across the map. And I've got five ore trucks now. Let's see what my opponent's building. Yeah, ore truck and another refinery, that's good to see. There's my opponent's engineer. And I've kind of forgotten mine. Oh look, he's seen it. My opponent, that's nice, they're going to catch him. Very nice, caught him out. Try and get some retribution with the APC, but <laughs> they've escaped. Oh, these rifle guys should catch them. There's a gren grenade. Yeah. And there's a flak truck from my opponent, and we're at 6,000 army value each. I'm at 7 now. And I've got two, he's got two. There you go, there's a recapture. Uh, where's my opponent's engineer? Did he lose it? Or, no, what's... Oh yeah, he sent it down this way, of course. There you go. So it's three oil derricks to me, one to my opponent at the moment. I'm at 10,000 army value. My opponent's just reached 10,000 army value. There's some scouts over here having a look. And I've got some rifle guards in place here. I think my opponent's searching. Yeah, I've got, got a rifle guard there. So I'm waiting to see when my opponent expands. Let's see what progress... He's still building ore trucks. Six each now. And I'm moving to the forward expansion. Is there anything in that? Yes, it's got four of something in it. Will it make it to deploy them? No. Sadly, I got 205 kill bounty out of that. Very nice. Yeah, that was very nice. <laughs> and good for veterancy. And there you go, I've been attacked here. Um, but I think I can hold, just I need that up front and base defences and I can hold. This tank is arriving at the perfect time, always get your repairs done, it helps. And there you go, I've managed to hold there. And the enemy's taking the oil derrick in the mayhem, he's recapturing it, but no. Oh yes, looks like I've noticed, and he's captured it back in time before I killed him. It's very nice at snatching those oil, oil derricks back. So it's two each again. The oil derrick wars continue. And here's my rifle scouts checking out. Let's see if they're revealed much. Yes, they've revealed most of the base. That'll do fine. And here's my full star veteran leading the way. Because he's quicker. 
he moves more quickly than any other infantry because the higher the rank of veteran the faster the unit moves hit his ore trucks at the perfect time and the army values have completely gone out of his control now I'm at 20,000, he's at 5 so he's 5, 9, 6 so there's no chance, he's at 7 now but there's no chance at that point when I'm doing this damage I've taken out what looks like 3 ore trucks there but I've had to fall back because this response, even though it's, there's not a lot, it's, um, you know, he's got these screening tanks and he can destroy my infantry. So I attacked at the other side. Um, there you go, mangled, and I want to get rid of the service depot. Surely. And I've wandered into a base defence. That's poor um, work. I'm obviously using attack move to move through rather than um, destroying structures. It's one tactic that you choose. I'm moving, choosing to attack move through the base, clear out the defenders, then deal with the base. Whereas uh, if they would have more defenders and a stronger presence, you would destroy the structures before you moved in. There you go, taking out that conyard, it's gone. My opponent's army value is bottomed out, and there's his MCV, he's had to bring that back so for build radius. He's placing Tesla coils and that, but... And I was surprised by this, but targeting single units like that's no good, and he's called a GG. And that husk will block his uh, vehicle production if it's still there when it's ready to build. The wrecks of vehicles do, and they, that was his flat truck. His engineer's still there. And there you go. That's the uh, second replay of this post for you. I'll just go through the graphs and charts. There's the army graph. Yeah, we were quite close in army value, actually. It was just after a certain point, it, that was it. His army value completely bottomed out. But he did recover us slightly, but only to about seven grand. It wasn't enough. But there's the earnings graph. Um, yeah, but, you know, about the same, roughly. Um, my finishing army, yeah, is about six heavy tanks. Uh, my APC is still alive, a flamethrower, my engineer, about 15 rocket soldiers and 99 riflemen. Um, the uh, combat chat tab, I've killed 163 units, my opponent's killed 94. Um, I lost one structure, my opponent lost 10. And I've got a 19,000 army value left. I destroyed 42,000 of my opponent's assets, my opponent destroyed 16,000 of my assets. Um, I'm guessing the support powers aren't in effect. I didn't have time to make a, a radar dome. It was um, only a brief game. Um, production, standard production, heavy tanks, rocket soldiers, defences and structures, uh, power. Uh, I've got seven ore trucks left at the end. I earned 68,000, my opponent earned 48,000, so was, that was okay. And I've got 10,000 cash. Um... 28 actions per minute from me, 41 actions per minute from my opponent, so he gave 41 orders a minute, that's nice. Some people just operate more quickly than others, that's all. And there you go, there's the second game for you. I won't go on too much, so I don't extend the time of the video too much, but um, mainly the first game is the one I enjoyed the most. That was also my first, I think it was my first or second game of the day, I think. I had a practice game first and then played Dodder, so um, I hope you enjoyed the game. If you like what you saw, give us a sub and a like, and take good care of yourselves as always, and until next time, goodbye. Battle control terminated.